There are very few times in my life in general that I've ever said an artist covered a song better than the original song. And this particular artist did it to the Beatles. And I'm not joking. I heard this gentleman, John Farnham, cover Help by the Beatles. And I'm not joking. It is better than the Beatles. It, it, it is a completely reimagined version of the song Help. And I really think it captures the essence of what that song was written about better than the way the Beatles did it. And I know you can say whatever you will to me about that, but that's how I feel. I listened to that cover of Help uh, earlier this morning, and I thought, man, I want to hear that guy sing live again. Um, it's been, you know, over a year since I've revisited his voice, and I'm here for it. So I looked up John Farnham live, and um, I saw a thumbnail that said he was with the symphony orchestra. So I wanted to hear it. Guys, I'm going to hit the play button on this thing, but before I do, it's very important to me that you know that you are awesome, that you are valuable, that you are important, that you matter, that you are deserving of love, and that I am abundantly grateful for even a moment of your time. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button. It does go a long way to help me out. And if you really like what you see, leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. Tell me what other of uh, John's work you might like uh, me to listen to. Um, or, or, you know, you can always join me on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Arizona time. Guys, without further ado, John Farnham, um, you're the voice. Melbourne, I feel like it should be you are, uh, like, your apostrophe, R-E, you apostrophe R-E, neither here nor there, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, nitpick the grammar, um, I'm just hoping it's not supposed to be you are the voice, and they just did John Dirty here in the title, but we'll see, guys, uh, here we go. Seeing in the in the musicians. All right, this guy, his voice. We had the chance to turn the band over. Dude, he's doing this live. So I know it's a quintessential 80s sound, right? Like, say what you will, but that man roared that way with the microphone in front of all of those people in that room, like, j he, the first try. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the I, I don't, he's got just one of those voices where you hear it and you're like, how does he do it? Because it sounds like a voice that people spend hours and hours and hours in the studio trying to make and going take after take. He sounds like he, he could be the voice of every single Disney soundtrack I heard growing up because he's just got one of those monstrously powerful voices. But it's so much deeper than that. We're all someone's daughter We're all someone's son Hello <laughs> just his message in his song you know like we're all someone's son and daughter you know we need to stand together i love this idealism behind the music as well but again when you just see this man roar and like his delivery like 
Yeah, I again, I, I, I can understand that there is an element of like, um, it sounds like the 80s, but if you like the 80s sound, that's not a problem. And I, I, I just, I, I think this man's voice is just something ridiculously special. Um, I like I doesn't. I, I think Australia calls him like their voice, and I can see why. We have the power to be powerful. Like we have the power to be powerful. That is so. Like, yes, we do. That's such a cool thing to say. Ah. How? <laughs> Bro. But like, when I say the '80s, I mean it's it's definitely the '80s. <laughs> it's a timeless voice to 80s music is what it is. The bagpipes. Because why wouldn't the bagpipes be in an orchestra? I love this. And what a chant. If wait, you know, I in hearing this song, I kind of feel like they mean more when th than just him being the voice as in like a a great vocal talent. I feel like if if he is their voice and this it, the, his voice is the message of of coming together, I like that so much. Like the double meaning behind the voice. <laughs> That's uh, ah. Did he, did he just rock start like ninja chuck the, the 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 mic stand in the air and then just catch it like a baton? Up in the air. Out of here. <laughs> Stage presence, dude. Like that's such a rock star move. He literally just baton tossed that mic stand, caught it in the air, hit the note, got it out of there. Doesn't miss a beat. Like. All of the vibrato is undisturbed in him, like, literally javelin throwing the mic stand after just, you know, catching it like a baton. Ah. I want to... I almost feel like I can hear a whole bunch of people singing with their with their Aussie accent though. Come on now. Big one. We're not gonna sit in silence.
ad lib song. The octave up. That is just, uh, you know, performance like that is just next level. I mean, you know, there are guys that can command a stage. There are guys that have great live presence. There are guys that can really belt out live. But, I mean, that guy's voice and his vocal control, the way he interacts with the audience, his, excuse me, his presence um, and just his delivery, but also the message within the music. I think that... Uh, again, sings really through. Like, I feel like he sings with conviction the things he sings. And yeah, I, I mean, I it's, it's mind blowing to me that I, I haven't heard him in the States, you know, like that it, it came through like YouTube suggestions, um, like in the comments that I, I, I should check, check him out. But yeah, John Farnham, I, I mean, truly, I, I think the best way I can say it is like a timeless voice singing to 80s music. <laughs> I, I love this. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for the positivity you show both to me and to one another. Continue to be the best. And until I see you next, be introspective and consider the birds. Goodbye.